Our next guest is an Emmy-nominated writer and comedian you know from his work on shows like Saturday Night Live and Los Spookies. His picture book, I Want to Be a Vase, is out June 7th. Please welcome back to the show our friend Julio Torres. I'm good, how are you? I'm so happy you wrote this book. This is, um, yeah, it's Julio, it's my friend Julio. You, I don't wanna um, miss anyone. You've described this as a coffee table book for kids, which I think is yeah. lovely, a lovely a thing that kids, nobody has that for kids yet. Yeah, like sometimes I go to the little living rooms and you know, they have like their coffee table books on like seashells and like the Madonna coffee table book, but they don't have the, yeah. they don't have one of these. Yeah, this is great. and this. Um, why did you, so these are uh, inanimate objects, are the mm -hmm. characters in this book. You yeah. have a, a, you know, a plunger, a vacuum cleaner, um, and uh, the plunger wants to be a vase. What made you want to write a kid's book where the, the characters were objects? Well, I don't know. I wanted to find something unusual. I didn't want it, like, I didn't want to write a book about, like, like a little bear or, like, a... Okay. Like... Now... <laughs> I, I don't know if you know, I did, I just, I just did that. Which, which is why, like, the, cause the bear book bar was set so high. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. So I felt like, you know, like, uh, pick, pick, pick your track. Yeah. Yeah. Why Build did your own, why? I'm not gonna have like, what, late night with Julio Tor? No, you know what I mean? Like. Right, you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think why we're yeah. such nice friends is we're on different, we're in parallel tracks, not the same track. Yeah. 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 It's really cool that you yeah. did that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> a, f a, uh, a, a friendship in uh, TV makeup 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it should be noted. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. I think you could all attest that we're friends because you've seen most of our interactions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but why did you choose to make a plunger your hero? Well, I, you know, I, I was trying to think of what the, what the scrappiest object would be, and I was thinking about the hierarchy of objects. Yeah. Uh, and if you are a plunger, it's safe to say you're, you're at the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah. <laughs> because no one, no one's happy to be using a plunger. <laughs> Which, it, which is why most of them are so poorly designed, I feel like, because everyone's just like, <laughs> like... No one's, uh... Right, no one's... No one's excited yeah. that they're gonna use a plunger. No one's looking at it while they're using it, even, or else they... No, see, they read their eyes. see the design flaws more, but you're yeah. like, you're right, it's like... Yeah, you, you're like... <laughs> Imagine having a job where people were like... <laughs> just get it over with. And then yeah. the, the villain is a vacuum cleaner. I mean, as much as an object can be a villain. But he, the, the vacuum cleaner sort of believes you should not want to aspire to be a different object. Well, yeah. I, I don't think that vacuum is a villain so much as vacuum is trapped in a cage of vacuum's own making. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that vacuum is like, oh, I'm going to be villainous. I think that vacuum just, you know, watches a lot of Fox News. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, vacuum doesn't like the idea that objects can be whomever objects choose to be. Uh, and because I was thinking, like, it should be a vacuum because it's like if you are a vacuum, if you're an object and you're a vacuum, that is one of the most cutthroat object industries. Yeah, there is because it's like if you're if you're a vacuum cleaner, you're constantly worried you're gonna get replaced. <laughs> Because there's always like a like a like a faster, better vacuum cleaner out yeah. there. Right. If you let it if you let it slide just if a little bit. If you let it bit. slide just a little bit, you're out of there. <laughs> it's it's sort of like a sort of like Wall Street people. Yeah. Or like like corporate people who are like, well, I I I you know I I wake up at five and go to go to Peloton and then I go to work and uh, and if you don't you know, make as much money as you do, that's your problem. <laughs> that's right? a vacuum, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a vacuum. <laughs> it's, a, it's very like, okay, like, your life is all efficiency. That's, that's, that's great for you. <laughs> but some of us want to be vases. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it really is a beautiful story. I can't uh, wait to read it to my kids. I also want to congratulate you. I know you're very busy. Yeah. And I'm happy you did this because, well, you know, we were just talking about sometimes there are people who are too busy and they, uh, you know, they, they don't find other people to help them out. But you just hired a social media manager. And... Y yeah. Okay. <laughs> We, uh, I, I guess they've been posting a fair amount on your socials to let people know their... Right. I, 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 I'm giving her a chance. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's, she's struggling a little bit, but I, yeah. Is her she, name Pirulina Pinapina? No. Okay. Uh, her name is Pirulin Pinpina. Okay. <laughs> Pirulin, okay, Pirulin Pinpina, yes. And here yeah. she is. This is a photo of herself she just posted. Um, <laughs> Can I read what she just, so this yeah. is, and again, I get why you're maybe a little frustrated with her. Mm -hmm. She wrote, let's get this Monday right. It's, I not, am... it, no, it's not Monday. Right. <laughs> yeah, so right off yeah. the bat. So, so like the tough. attention to detail already. Uh, yeah. And also the hope that she wants to get it right and right away it's wrong, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this yeah. Monday right, right off the bat wrong. I am yeah. Pirulene Pinpina, yes, and I manage socials for Julio currently. In this post, you will find much product for you to consume. Much love to little consumers. Be happy. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she she calls my um, fans little consumers. Yeah. Which there, there, there's a, there's a beautiful honesty about that, yes. right? Because it's like she's like. Yeah. This is what they're just let's, their product. Right? Let's not pretend that we don't live in a capitalist society where art is product, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like. No, it's like, oh, you wrote a, you made product. Yeah. <laughs> so at book. least that, I mean, it must be yeah. nice because that allows you to maybe be a little bit more artistic knowing that she's going to really drill down and try to sell your product. Well, the problem is then, then like, friends are like, did you see what she just posted? Like, she yeah. should take it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and stressful. Then, and then I'm like, girl, why are you commenting on that war? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, take it down. But yeah, she's... She's very overwhelmed. She's like this big, so I understand yeah. why she would be overwhelmed. She does, I mean, she does look like somebody who's pretending not to be overwhelmed, but you can. I feel like yeah. if you have a good eye for like expression, you're yeah, like, oh, she's, she's, like, uh, she's over she's her. She's like head. always manic. And like, you <laughs> think that like, oh, Julia's gonna be on Seth. He has a book to promote. You think that she'd be here, but then she was like, oh, my cousin's wedding. It's, it happens to be that day. And I'm like, okay. Wait. And then she just texted me saying, my bad, my cousin is already married. <laughs> Can I still come? And I'm like, no, 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 don't come. She forgot her cousin was married? She was like, I think, I think that, I think that like tomorrow she'll realize whose wedding it was. Oh, I see. So yeah, there was a was. wedding. She I think there was a it. wedding. I yeah. think that she maybe like, she probably doesn't even know that. Like, <laughs> she just like read like a wedding announcement. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, this is, I'm sorry about this. Yeah. I'm so happy about the book, and it's really, really nice to have you back on the show. Thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. You guys, that's Julio Torres. I want to be a mace. Here it is one more time. It's at June 7th. We'll be right back with a performance from 6th and Musical.